I'm gonna show you how to end your song anywhere using Reverb in Premiere Pro. But in Premiere Pro's new update, there's a little bit of a bug that you need to watch out for, so make sure to watch to the very end. Let's say this is our piece of music and we want it to end right about here, but it just keeps going past this point. I want it to end with some reverb into the distance, so all we need to do is make a cut immediately after the beat. Right there, about one to two frames after the beat. Next, move a few frames forward and hold Control or Command, and click twice here on your opacity slider to make two keyframes. If you don't see this line here, you either need to increase your track height by clicking and dragging over the left hand side here, and if you still can't see it, right click on your audio and go down to Show Clip Keyframe, Volume, Level. Now, once we've made these two keyframes, drop the second one down to zero so that it's got a nice little fade out. And when you listen back to it, you shouldn't really hear any new beats or other instruments coming back into play. You also wanna make sure you don't shorten this clip. You wanna keep it going as long as you can. Now let's nest it by right clicking and select nest. And now we're ready to add our reverb effect. There's a lot of options to adjust, but I'll give you just the best variations that I like. First, we need to find it from our effects panel and drag and drop it onto our nested sequence. Highlight your nested sequence and go up to effect controls and click on edit here. And you can either go up to presets and select great hall, but that doesn't quite get the results that I like. I like something like the following. Room 75, Decay 9000, Early Reflections 52, Width 100, High Frequency 2025, Low Frequency 259, Dampening and Diffusion both at 50, and then Dry at around 45 and Wet at around 59. And with that, you get something like this. It's almost there, but if you notice that it's not quite as smooth of a transition as you'd like, you can add a crossfade, but make sure that when you click and drag your audio, you don't drag to the right, but instead drag to the left. It looks exactly the same, but it's actually really different. If you drag to the right, you'll get a little bit of a hiccup in your transition, which sounds like this. If you drag to the right, technically you're telling Premiere Pro this clip ends here, and this one just fades in on its own. But if you click and drag to the left, you're telling Premiere Pro that the first audio clip fades into the nested sequence, making it sound a lot smoother like this. If you found this video helpful, subscribe and check out this video for even more Premiere Pro tips.